was a bit tricky because sometimes you don't know where the sentence is going or if it indeed is a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Claudia and you're with Moroni for the weekly wrap up. It appears that Cambry is going to have more shops and restaurants than we expected including Chinese restaurants, burger joints, a salad bar, a late night dessert cafe, a supermarket, an Asian street eatery, including Japanese and Korean food. What more could the average ANU student want? Now in student residential news, returner applications are out now. This year we've had a much higher returner rate than years past. ANU modelling estimates are whopping 70% returner rate compared to 58% last year. A bigger campus news. An explosive report from the Waroni News team Woohoo! <laughs> shows that a first year Portuguese course was cut late into week one of this semester due to low course enrolments. The course was cut due to a policy that allegedly imposes a micro levy on courses with low enrolments, but no such policy exists. Portuguese is the sixth most spoken language in the world but there is currently only one Portuguese course being run at ANU. So one ring to rule them all. <laughs> one ring to bind them. <laughs> Community news. Oh my gosh, what's going on with the ABC and the government? And the ABC have a rocky relationship in the past with the Liberal government accusing the ABC of bias. Things look shaky for a good while, but then, the ABC Managing Director, Michelle Guthrie, was sacked. People started getting mad that there was a potential political bias. Lighthearted news. A tiny tunnel has been discovered in a cliff face below Macquarie Lighthouse. It's a remnant from World War II. Nobody really knows what the tunnel's purpose is though. So you've heard of humans of New York, but have you heard about the ducks of the ANU campus? Come with me now on a magical journey where we will spot the ducks of your dreams. We're looking for ducks. Amazing. Can I get up and